Hey, this is Prak with iRepairMD, and if you guys ever wonder uh, what is in the tap water that you're drinking, and I have, uh, by you know, all the water crisis that's been going on, especially in the Flint, Michigan area, I kind of went and did some research, and a research is a little, a little scarier. I noticed that the majority of the piping system in America, major, and also the major city like New York, LA, Chicago, their piping system are lead tainted, and the piping system's over 100 years old. The uh, chemical that they put into, to, I guess, to uh, clean the water actually causes a lot of corrosion, and the water is not at all safe to drink and the majority of the places the jurisdiction i uh, did research on have some health violation by the local the uh, municipal water source uh, there's a website that uh, i have discovered and it's called mother nature network and i'm uh, show you that site right now and that uh, it actually shows shows all the violation that the state has and this is an interactive website so all you have to do is scroll your mouse over let's go to California you can see California it says community water system 10% uh, of the community water system reported health violation and 2% of the state population served by contaminated water system. And that's the lowest, the safest one. And then you go to Maryland, which is at the extreme side. 10% of the community water system reported health violation and 33 of the population serve contaminated water. So if the link of this site is below and if you're interested in seeing what your state um, did in this this site of this survey, this contamination survey, it looks like there's no state that is that went unscathed. Uh, Alaska, Nevada, Idaho, Nebraska, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, North Carolina, Maryland, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine all have some really serious violation there. But regardless, um, I would recommend that you guys protect yourself. And uh, I found a water tester by my. Uh, it had the best rating, so I'm going to go ahead and actually do a test on this and purchase this from a local uh, store. And the link to that store is below. You can actually order from their website or the Amazon store. And... Um, we're going to put this TDS water tester to the test, and I actually went, I uh, have a creek in my backyard, so I'm going to use the, I assume it's highly contaminated, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to take some sample from the creek, and also I'm going to be pulling the uh, tap water also in this mix. I will be comparing uh, Deer Park, Fiji water, and Dasani distilled water and a few other water sources to see if this uh, tester works well so stay tuned this is Prak with IRPMD in Digital Life this is our water purity tester it's a mobile device uh, you look at all the other device out there can cost three or four hundred dollars. This particular one is really easy to use and you can test it within seconds. What you're going to be getting is a box. This is a My Water Tester. Uh, the instructions are all in Chinese, but uh, we have the English translation should you need it. We will um, have it on our website if you need to know, but everything you need to know about how to use this device will be in this video so what you're going to be getting is the water tester unit it's 
go ahead and pull it out of the base. All right, let's take this tape off. Okay. And this is a pretty solid unit. Well built. TDS stands for Total Dissolve Solid. And that's a, a test how uh, in parts per million how many um, impurities are there in your water. And it's well built. It's about the size of a a little bigger than a pen, looks kind of like a pregnancy test, um, but it's not <laughs> it's a water tester. Or you can say, well, it tests the impregnation of your water. The tip right here are the uh, sensor. These are sensors and it tests parts per million. It's a nice uh, translucent or frosted cap. The back side mm, is the button so this little TDS button actually turns on the water and it's uh, 0 ppm which is parts per million and this is the battery it uses traditional uh, disc battery and um, we're gonna go ahead and actually run the test and so what we have in front of us is the a distilled water and this is steam distilled so I expect it to be extremely pure because it's just like oxygen and hydrogen and whatever impurity should not even show up. The Sani is a water by Coke bottler and it's a uh, reverse osmosis and there are minerals added to it for flavor. And this is artisan water, Fiji. And we take, they got this from Fiji itself, from uh, the volcano. So the, in the back, it tells you that the, the water came from a volcano and there's some kind of aquifer underneath and it takes millions of years to make it through the bottom and what you're getting is a spring water from Fiji. And this is Deer Park. This is a, taken from a spring. I don't know where the spring is. Spring looks like it's from Connecticut. A Connecticut spring on Oakland spring. This is my local Nipispo, Nipispo uh, water take from the tap this is the water from my creek it's been raining a little bit so you can actually see some of the brown from the I guess you can call it um, tea uh, organic tea I'm pretty sure there's millions and millions of bacteria and other impurity in that water so the whole point is to see I mean how pure are these water bottle and do you trust your local water source I will be going to Cambodia next month and uh, I purchased this because I needed a quick way to see if the water is safe to drink. As you know, uh, all over the world, the biggest problem is kind of finding clean, clean drinking water, whether in Europe, you're in Europe or in Africa or in Asia or the Middle East, you're gonna need one of this thing. It, um, it's a really easy, Thing to use and in Cambodia even though the bottle it might be bottled water there is no regulation to, that no governing body telling you how to filter these water sometimes they just run it through a tap and bottle it and um, you need to have this regardless if you're a bottled water drinker or a tap water drinker uh, with the event in Flint Michigan and um, it's happening all over the world you need to know what's in your water and so today I'm gonna show you how to uh, get how to use this product and um, I'm also going to do a follow-up video along with a documentary on my visit to Cambodia and this is going to be my my uh, tester I'll be carrying with me and this is a really it's easy to use and it it, it works uh, you get result within seconds of dipping it in and let's go ahead uh, and begin the test to see which one of these would have the purest Okay, so what we have uh, to prevent any kind of cross contamination with the uh, container, what we're gonna do is put these. Uh, uh, what I did is put the uh, all these liquid, these water into the uh, shot glass, 
front of us and we're going to be running this test. Let's go ahead and start off with the creek water. All right. So let's do the creek water. Reset this at zero. Creek water test begins. And creek water reads 777 parts per million, which is not too safe to drink. Okay, let's go ahead and do the, the tap water. Okay, tap water, let's see what it is. Tap water is 109 parts per million. That's how much uh, dissolved solid are in tap water in the uh, Richmond area vicinity. And Deer Park water from the spring of Pennsylvania has 64 parts per million. Not bad, not bad at all. 65. The Sunny water has 24 parts per million. Surprise. So the, the filter water is a lot cleaner than the Deer Park water. So the Sunny is 24. Okay, now Fiji. Let's see what Fiji have. This is from a spring under a volcano. And this has 131. That's actually more dissolved solid than the tap water. And now the stilt water. The stilt water has zero parts per million. So the stilt water is pure as it can get. So if you want extremely pure water with no dissolved minerals, I would recommend distilled water. But uh, if you are traveling, uh, you want to know what's coming out of your tap, concerned about what's been going on, especially with the aging piping system of America, I probably recommend, I do recommend getting yourself a TDS tester, total dissolved solid. And this will actually help you um, make a better choice whether to cook coffee from the tap or use a filter water even if you buy bottled water it actually tell you which uh, you're spending the right amount of money for the quality of water uh, from this test I will not be drinking Deer Park anymore or Fiji I'm gonna stick with Dasani but if I am cooking uh, making formula for my baby I definitely want to use distilled water it has zero Parts per million, extremely, extremely pure. And if I was to go camping, I would definitely filter the creek water or the river water. Um, my local water source from the tap is pretty decent. So this is Prac with iRepair MD and Digital Life. Uh, if you're interested in um, buying this product right here, we have it on sale. The link is below. You guys. Have a safe day and drink pure water. Bye-bye.